Hello, I'm Sandra Jungers, and uh, again, I am pleased to be here with you this afternoon presenting you information on developmental care. And for those of you that are coming back for the second in the series of three today, glad to have you back. We're going to talk about developmentally supportive care and the neurosensory system and how that, Im how that is impacted by uh, the environment as well as some of our caregiving uh, practices in the NICU. And uh, let's just sort of start off about in the beginning, okay? The experience that an infant has, you know, when he comes to us earlier than what he would have liked to have come to us, and the fact that we start with this premature infant on admission. How many of you have seen an infant that looks like this shortly after admission? You know, this is an infant that has hardly been in the unit more than an hour. And notice position. Notice the vulnerability of this infant. Notice how the environment is totally different from the environment that he was accustomed to. Remember, he didn't ask to get here. You know, it's sort of uh, an experience that he would have rather not taken part in and that he would have rather stayed in utero for the 39 to 40 weeks and uh, then been much more prepared to make his journey into the world. But, you know, and I look at this picture and I can only imagine the first time that a parent comes into our NICU. What do they think when they see their infant with their arms and their legs outstretched and the fact that maybe they don't have on a diaper, maybe they've got an umbilical arterial line, maybe they've got IVs, maybe they've got, they're intubated and they're on a ventilator. You know, it's probably one of the most overwhelming experiences that any of our parents will ever go through because you have to remember that they didn't expect to be in our house to begin with. They actually expected to go to the newborn nursery or to be out on the mother-baby couplet care unit enjoying, you know, their newborn baby. But once we have this infant here, we have to really realize that this infant is counting on us to give him the best possible care that we can. And also remember that trust is gained from this infant during the very first few minutes, moments that this infant arrives to us. Remember, he was in that nice little physiologically flexed position in utero. Shoulders were rounded. His knees were up. And the fact that he had the ability to get his hands close to face and mouth. He, you know, had the ability to extend and he had the ability to come back into flexion. And so we bring him into our world and we have brought him into a very stressful environment and we need to find out how we, number one, can decrease that stress on that admission. We need to find out how we can gain his trust because remember, once we take him, put his arms out, legs out, you know, hips abducted, uh, adducted, then of course, you know, we have this infant, you know, experiencing a significant level of stress and the fact that this infant is no longer in control and the fact that he becomes very distrustful. So the first 24 hours that this infant is with us is some of the most critical time that we will have with this infant. And I think we have to really look at our practices and find out how we can shorten admission how we can make admission a less stressful situation for the infant, and how when we have our parents come into the unit for the very first time, what their experience will really be like. Because remember, you know, this is not what they had expected.